Now let me solve one problem. I want to review the concepts that I learned, and that is something that I will use a lot. So I want everybody to understand this. Two solid 25 millimeter diameter steel shafts are connected by the gears shown. A motor supplies 20 kilowatt at 15 hertz to the system at A. The bearing shown permits free rotation of the shafts. So I can simply ignore those three bearings. Determine A. What is the torque available at B? And B, what is the maximum shear stress? The most important part, the concept that I want to focus on, is how much is the torque at output system. I want to use the concepts that we learned before. All right. Before doing that, let me write down the data that I have. The power is 20 kilowatt, which is 20,000 watt, and the speed is 15 hertz, which is 15 times 2 pi, which is equal to 30 pi radian per second, which is equal to 94.25 radian per second. All right, this is the angular velocity. How can I determine what is torque at gear A? I don't know how much is torque. How can I determine that? <coughs> Look at this equation. Power is torque times angular velocity. Do I know how much is angular velocity at the motor? Yes. How much is, what, do I know how much is power at that motor? Yes. So I can determine torque at that point. Torque would be P over omega. So T at A would be P over omega. All right, I plug the values, and the torque at A would be 212.2 newton meter. It's 212 newton meter. All right, in this shape, I want to move from A to B. I want to see what happens here, what is if there is any change in torque. This is similar to what we saw before in this system. Look at this system. When I move from left side to right side of this, is there any change in the velocity of this shaft? The velocity is the same. Is there any change in the power of this shaft? The power is constant in the entire system. So do you expect to see any change in torque when I move from this side to the other side? Nope. So this is one important fact. If you have one shaft, the torque is the same in all gears connected to that. And the angular velocity is the same in all gears connected to that. Does that make sense? The power transmission system that I have rotates at the same speed in one shaft, and the torque is the same in that shaft. The same is true here. The torque at A is equal to torque in that shaft is equal to torque at B. And the angular velocity remains the same. All right, so torque at B is equal to torque at 1 is equal to torque at A. Now, I want to move from gear B to gear C. What happens when I move from one gear to the other gear? Does it change the rotation speed? Yes. So I have to use gear ratio when I move from these two connected gear. Does that make sense? Now there is a big question. I know that TC is gear ratio times TB, okay? The question is, what is gear ratio? The gear ratio is the relation between the number of teeth of these two gears. But I have two options. First, gear ratio is 48 over 30, or gear ratio is 30 over 48. Which one is the case for this problem? How can I answer that? To understand that better, let me ask this question. What is the relation between angular velocity of these two gears? I know that the angular velocity of C is related to the angular velocity of B. And I know that that is again connected by a gear ratio. And for this case, again, I have this angular velocity, these gear ratios. Which one is correct for this case? To answer this, there is one important fact. First, we need to determine which one rotates faster. 
the largest gear or a smaller gear? Always the smaller gears rotates faster. So in this case, the angular velocity of C is smaller than the angular velocity of B, correct? And similarly, which one has larger torque? Torque at C should be larger than torque at B because in that we are losing velocity and we are gaining torque. Okay? Now regarding this fact, tell me which gear ratio should I pick up here? For torque, which one should I pick up? 48 over 30. That is the right gear ratio that I should use. And the other one is not correct. Now, which gear ratio that should I use for this equation for <coughs> relating velocities together? Top or bottom? The bottom one. Why? Because the velocity here is smaller than B. So here, that is the gear ratio that I have is a, a number smaller than zero. Does that make sense? That is the fact that I wanted everybody to understand this. And we use that a lot. This is how we can see what is the gear ratio that we should use in our analysis. Think about that and ask me a question if you have any for this part. Everybody understand this? So we have learned two facts. First, if you move along a shaft, torque and angular velocity remains the same. But if you move from two connected gears together, both of them are changing. What is the gear ratio for that case? The angular velocity in the larger gear is smaller, but the torque is higher. Based on this fact, I can pick up what is the correct gear ratio. All right? Okay. Um, I can solve the rest of this. So the torque at D would be negative 48 over 30 times uh, torque at B. And that gives me torque at uh, C is equal to 339.5. That is torque at C. What is torque at D? I'm moving along a shaft. So the torque at D would be similar to torque at C. So that is the final answer. Does that make sense?